San Francisco police are looking for the people involved in a dramatic crash that sent a car sailing over the Sanchez Street steps on Saturday night. A car plowed through a guardrail, then landed on its roof. The people in the car took off before police arrived, and the police would like to know exactly why. ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn with more on the cleanup and the investigation. Crews had their hands full today cleaning up the mess from a wild car chase that ended with a crash down the Sanchez Street steps in San Francisco's Dolores Heights. Tree inspectors and structural engineers were on scene Monday to assess the damage from Saturday's crash. I don't know why it would be going so fast. People in the neighborhood are still stunned that a driver barreled through a sign and guardrail on 19th and Sanchez Street Saturday just after 7 p.m. It's a dead end street. Witnesses heard the tires and the commotion afterward. Video captured the dramatic crash, the car tumbling down a steep embankment. I guess a 45 degree <laughs> angle. The car ended upside down. Martha Rose, who lives just around the corner, can't believe it. Amazing, amazing that they survived at all. And it's amazing to me that the, the car came through all of those trees and then through the railing and then landed upside down and he's still alive. Witnesses say the driver and the people inside the car took off running. Police still haven't been able to find any of those involved. ABC 7 News has learned that SFPD Robbery Division is investigating the incident. Supervisor Raphael Mandelman confirmed that the car involved in the crash belongs to a man who was carjacked. Georgi, a neighbor who helped people get out of the smashed car, told ABC 7 News this. One phrase that caught, uh, like, do I still remember? It was like, we have three minutes, we need to run. A bunch of stuff came out of the car. Like, I saw, I think, two tasers. And then the cops, in the end, like, when they're cleaning up the scene, they also pulled, like, found a gun. According to Georgi, a man showed up after the accident. He claimed he was carjacked. He said uh, he was driving past here. Uh, they opened his door, uh, got the guy out. He said he got hit by a gun on his head. Roger Lott says he can't believe no one was killed in the crash. To come 30 feet over, over a cliff and land upside down. The crash scene, now a crime scene. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.